the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Hello and welcome back. Today is Sunday, February 28, 2021, and this is the Sports Vote Campaign Update. So Bank of the West had a, an advertisement out uh, in the last week's talking about what is your bank financing. So there definitely is an awareness in the marketplace of what your capital is being put toward. I would just like to point out again that what you spend your money on is what you're encouraging in the marketplace. So it's a vote with your, of your values and your passions and your interests. So keep that in mind. Sports does not vanish when the power goes out, and neither does the United States. Why do I mention this? Because in the case of our instruments, whether or not you have electricity, such as what happened in Houston or in Texas in general uh, in the last few days, actually, uh, the fact the power goes out doesn't mean that the entire sports industry disappears. And in the case of cryptocurrencies, when the power goes out, the nation doesn't disappear. Uh, Maybe certain parts of it don't work like they should. So... There's your counterpoints to both Bitcoin and uh, toward um, encouraging our financial instrument. Investing in gambling is investing in the past. It's like investing in horses when cars are the next thing. Fantasy to reality. So fantasy sports is a huge thing, obviously has been for a long time. So our idea is to turn that activity, that energy, that focus and interest into the real thing. Be your own sports commissioner or your own esports commissioner. That's the idea. The NFL wants to double their broadcast fees. Yeah, good luck with that. Billion dollar lawsuit against the My Pillow idiot. Um, you get what you deserve, buddy. Report your crypto and crypto profits to the IRS or your representative tax authorities, and that's the only reason why this stuff hasn't been killed off yet. Really, that's the only reason. Uh, so. If that trend continues to be toward not reporting, which has been the case uh, in the last several years, uh, you're going to see more aggressive action. Omission is lying. So commission and omission. So commission means to do something and omission means to leave it out. I don't know what kind of parents you had, but my parents taught me that if you paint a false picture in somebody's mind through any method, including omission, uh, that's a lie. So If you're going to talk about us in the public domain, put everything out there, not just little pieces. Don't take things out of context. Maybe your mama didn't teach you that. Mine did. The judicial complaint has been filed here in California against Carlin and Hilberman. Hilberman was the original judge, which quickly passed the case along to Carlin. They both seem to have massive conflicts of interest, which we were not aware of at the time. If you want to see that complaint, you can go to the newsportseconomy.com. It's and scroll down just a little bit, and you'll see the uh, raw text and also the link to the actual formal complaint. Bitcoin is 100,000 times more at this point, roughly, than uh, XRP, which is utter nonsense. Makes no sense whatsoever. The SEC is trying to destroy XRP while letting BTC run wild. This is also, the entire crypto market is like a gold mine. They constantly use that comparison, which is just absolutely nuts. You can put your hands on a piece of gold. Gold is finite. The, the crypto universe is literally infinite. Now, may you may have finite uh, amounts within certain cryptos, but the universe itself is, is endless. There's no limit to the number of cryptos that can be created. And here's something else. Crypt, the crypto is like a gold mine that when you stop digging for gold, all the gold you already mined disappears. It makes no sense. In Costa Rica, I was part of a project called Laissez Fair City. You can look that up online. I'm sure there's still traces of that. And a sub-project called Dodge City. It was focused around libertarianism. Uh, I saw how that operated in the real world for many years, actually. And I would say to you quite clearly, that's not a very good recipe for the future. Not unless you want your grandma being beat up on the way to the store to get some milk. Uh, In a Hero Club meeting, um, probably about two years ago, Uh, One of the most astounding questions I ever got was asked, which was, did you pick this or did it pick you? Meaning um, ASM. It it definitely picked me. I would have never, uh, I I never had the notion of starting a stock market uh, as a child or even as an adult. Um, 
just the confluence of circumstances led to this. So it was not some childhood design of mine because, as I've said many times, uh, I don't have a particular interest in sports, and it would really have started with that. Fry's Electronics is dead. I visited the one here in Burbank uh, many, many times. Definitely saw it tail off uh, drastically in the last couple of years. But frankly, the parking lot was always pretty empty, which was real mysterious to me. I mean, uh, how, how can it be a viable business with no tr foot traffic? Um, maybe it was online, but I didn't even see any evidence of that. So for the nerds among us, which I'm admittedly one, uh, it's kind of a sad day because that was the uh, bizarre, basically, for, for the nerds. Fantex, which was the most recent serious attempt to try to knock our concept off, which lost about $50 million in investment money trying to steal our concept. Uh, there's been lots of lame attempts in the, in the meantime, small scale stuff, but this was the large one, the most recent large one. It had days, and I believe at one point even an entire week that went by that there were no trades on the market. Think about that. Not a single, tr not a single contract traded, and that's with regulatory um, approvals or exemptions, tons of cash in the system, not bonus margin, not free learning dollars, which I'd like to point out both sides of our market trade very healthily, both the, uh, the learning dollar side, the, the free side, and the bonus margin side, the pilot market side. Uh, Charlie Munger, Buffett's uh, partner, said that the gambling ethos that's taking over in the market is very stupid and dangerous and bad for the future. Uh, I agree with that 100%, of course. Stop betting, start investing. I told Alper uh, a couple years ago at this point that I saw that slogan extending beyond just the sports world to just the general behavior, the general behavior of society, and you know, in, not just in the markets, but this is the first time I've seen this kind of a statement from someone who's uh, an undeniable expert in the field. Uh, my personal Twitter account uh, has been reactivated. I put in a, an appeal whenever they turned it off. I could never figure out exactly what it was that they said was wrong with it. Um, so they eventually got to it. I imagine there's a backlog of tons of those. Uh, it was at the height of the election season, so I think they got a little bit trigger happy. But it's back on, and if you're interested, um, it's number 14 in the links in the show notes. There's uh, trouble with the New York Attorney General with Tether, Tether which is an, uh, a crypto coin, and Bitfenix, so keep an eye on that. I'd like to point out that uh, I've been a commercial mailer using the U.S. Postal System f uh, for more than 20 years. And DeJoy is full of crap. I've sent over a million pieces of mail. And what happened in late 2020, actually starting about late summer, uh, early fall, was a deliberate attempt to slow the mail down, to, to, to mess up the mail-in ballots. I will not let that go. I was at the Pasadena Post Office when the news cameras were there um, because the machines were being pulled out. Uh, I ride past that uh, on my bike route uh, almost every day. So I know what's normal and not normal going on around that place. So, and, and that's a, ma a main, um, it's a main processing center for the mail. It's a very large processing center. So if there's uh, any other claim to the contrary, it's a flat lie. So Gates uh, Munger, which is uh, Warren Buffett's partner and Yellen, the, uh, you know, the uh, current director of the Fed, uh, are signing the crypto, sounding the crypto alarm finally, uh, saying that this this is not good. What's happening here? And then I also saw a quote. Uh, I believe it was from from Yellen about the carbon footprint for uh, Bitcoin being the size of New Zealand. Okay, the carbon footprint of Bitcoin being the size of New Zealand. So DraftKings, I said that DraftKings would have massive losses in the fourth quarter while they were telling everybody it was going to be great and wonderful and they were going to, I said, no, that's not going to be true. Um, their top level, top line revenues went up, I believe about 30%, which is to be expected in football season. That's peak time. But their losses were eclipsed by that. Even Legal Sports Report, which is the most vocal organ out there for the pro, pro sports gambling faction, said that it was massive. Okay, $266 million loss 
in three months. That's over a quarter of a billion dollars. And if you remember, I said they're losing a billion dollars a year. Well, there you have it. Um, the loss is about 84 cents a share, 84 cents a share. They're losing about 83 cents of every revenue dollar they take in. So they take in a dollar, they keep 17 cents, they lose 83 cents. Even after you subtract the 100 plus million in stock compensation, which I'm not totally clear what this is. It can be a few things, insider selling, and it could also be bribing people like Michael Jordan and Cal Ripken, I think is the latest one, to get out there and encourage people to destroy their lives in sports gambling. Even if you take that out, their numbers are still positively awful. I said they would miss the downside consensus by 50%. They missed that by 50. They missed my 50 by 50% because they missed by more than 75%. They're losing $3 million per day. $3 million per day. So what is the case for making a profit here? More revenues mean more losses every single time. How, how does that math work out? I just, it's, it's never ending. It keeps going negative, 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 negative. I get more customers, get bigger losses. It just makes no sense. I, again, will say they are not going to find a profit here because of the, for two major things, the UK market is the developed regulated market and the Costa Rica, mostly Costa Rica, but there are a few other places, offshore jurisdictions are the, are the competition. And between those two, You've covered the market space. It's going to be very, I, I don't think it's possible to find a profit. I don't think they're going to find it ever. So we're looking at claims against Seth Leon, against the SEC, against Reddit, and against the conspirators. I'm beginning to think this whole thing is a conspiracy. So stay tuned. Just over five years ago, we filed SIPA. Kamala Harris was the attorney general in California. You can see NewSportsEconomy.com link in the show notes if you want to take a look at that letter, confirmation letter. Extreme right, far right Supreme Court, that's where we are now. Do not rule out the possibility that this can send the uh, gambling stuff back into the shadows. It could tip the scales the other way. It's yet to be known. There's a very deep Christian ethic now inside of the Supreme Court, and that is counter to that ethic. So please keep an eye on that. Black market versus legal market, it's going to be the same thing with gambling that it has been with cannabis. California is a great example. The black market is still beating the regulated market because they can offer better prices. And most importantly, there's no accountability in reporting to the government. That's going to be the same problem that's going to be found by the gambling uh, people, as I just reported above. In uh, The Costa Rica offshore markets are the non-reporting jurisdictions. Next Wednesday, March 3rd, is the fifth anniversary of the startup of the pilot market and the filing of the no action with the SEC. They happened at the same time. So we're five years on, and we still have no action on the no action. And that actually is part of potential claims against the SEC, sue to enforce performance. ESPN, I just got this this morning. ESPN is reporting that the Vegas Golden Knights just suddenly killed a sports gambling deal. I don't have all the uh, the details on this at this moment, but stay tuned. If you're interested uh, in this, uh, or if you know someone who might be interested in this, please pass it around, review it, and subscribe. Uh, it does help the search process, uh, the algorithms to uh, help this podcast be found, which advances the idea of investing in sports. See the show notes for episode-specific details and general research links. That's where they'll always be. And if you want to support us, please see the Nation Builder link in the show notes below. Thank you very much, and please stay safe with your friends and your family. Bye now.